Venezuela is holding a controversial vote to establish a constituent assembly on Sunday. The country has been rocked by political upheaval combined with an economic crisis. Let's take a look back at what led up to the vote. It started back in 2015. President Nicolas Maduro lost support in the country's national assembly. The opposition won 112 of 167 seats. Following that defeat, Maduro stacked the Supreme Court with his supporters, a move that would protect him from impeachment. Maduro then tried to dissolve the assembly and gave legislative power to the Supreme Court. That move was undone three days later, but not without sparking a new, more intense wave of protests. Then Maduro announced plans to rewrite the country's 18-year-old constitution through the election of a new constituent national assembly. Opposition saw this as yet another power grab, with the potential of moving Venezuela toward a one-party dictatorship under Maduro. In the weeks leading up to the vote, opposition leaders organized a referendum against the new assembly. More than 7 million Venezuelans, about 37% of eligible voters, participated. Nearly all, 98%, denounced the plan for a new constitution, but since the referendum wasn't sanctioned by the government, the vote was non-binding. Opposition members are boycotting Sunday's vote, which means all the candidates for the new assembly are Maduro supporters. The new assembly would have 545 seats and have authority over any existing government institution. That power has led to fears Maduro will again try to dissolve the current national assembly and arrest his critics, something he's promised to do.